Hi, and welcome back to the Security Simplified series. Last time, we talked about some of the most common ways applications implement single sign-on. Today, let's talk about how attackers can use subdomain takeovers to bypass SSO protection. Subdomain takeover is when attacker takes control of a company's unused subdomain. Let's say that a company hosts its site on a third-party service, such as AWS or GitHub Pages. When this third-party site is deleted, a DNS CNAME record that points from the company's subdomain to that third-party site will remain unless someone removes it. So if the CNAME is not removed and the third-party site is now unclaimed, anyone who registers that site on the third-party service gains control over the company's subdomain. For example, an organization hosts its subdomain on this GitHub page. The company later decides to delete that GitHub page but forgets to remove the CNAME record pointing from the subdomain to the GitHub domain. Since the GitHub domain is now unclaimed, anyone can create a GitHub page at this location. And because the company's subdomain still points to the GitHub page, the attacker now has full control over the subdomain. This is called a subdomain takeover attack and it en enables attackers to pretend that they are the legitimate site and trick users into entering their credentials or downloading malware. Now imagine that example.com implements a shared session-based SSO system. The user's browser will send example.com's cookies to any subdomain of example.com, including this subdomain hosted on GitHub. In this case, Attackers can take over the GitHub page and host a malicious script there to steal session cookies. They can then trick users into accessing the compromised subdomain by hosting it as a fake image or sending the link over to the user. As long as the victim has already logged into the SSL system once, the browser will remember and send over the shared session cookie to the GitHub page. And the attacker can steal the victim's cookie and log in as the victim to all services in the SSO system. So what can you do to prevent these attacks from happening? If your application implements shared session SSO, then it is essential that you protect it against subdomain takeovers. You can lower the possibility of subdomain takeover attacks by monitoring your DNS records, keeping track of third-party hosting sites, and routinely scanning for subdomain takeovers. Finally, you can avoid using shared session SSO altogether. The nature of shared session cookies across subdomains means that the possibility of compromise is higher. You can use other SSO solutions like OAuth or SAML instead. Although they each have their own unique security issues, they have improved a lot over the years. And that's it for today's security lesson. Next time, let's talk about security issues that affect other SSO solutions.